So, all right. So Ella pulled this card for us today and it's the I am adaptable card, which says I accept changes and can adjust to any situation. And I just thought that was really appropriate for the week, right? Because I mean, if there was ever a time was changed, this is the time we're living it right now. So I just wanted to put that in your brain and in your brains and remember that, or for you to remember that you, you can adapt, you can adjust and really what we need to do to adapt and adjust is, is make sure that we first accept the change, right? And accept what we can control and what we can't control. And there's very little we can do about our, our situation right now. And it could be a lot worse. I know everybody says that, but I think sometimes perspective is, or I would say all the time perspective is powerful. So what I've been trying to do this week is just keep that perspective keep it in line, right? Keep it, keep it in mind. And, and honestly, I've been kind of in, trying to enjoy this a little bit, even those moments when I go upstairs from my office and my house is blown up, right? I still just remember that it could be a lot worse. And I'm very thankful that my family has been really healthy so far. So um, remember this week that you are adaptable. Remember that you can adjust to any situation. And if something isn't working, if you don't like something, you have the power to change it. So change it, make the changes. You are, for all intents and purposes, the, the glue of the household, right? I mean, your, your children are looking to you. So if you don't like something, make the change. So that's number one. Number two, I have a challenge for you each this week. And we've done stuff like this before, but I think this is a really good time to do it. I actually have two challenges. So number one, I want you to write down what you're grateful for every day. Just one thing. It can be one word. You can write down like a little paragraph. In my notebook, I actually have it here to show you. So I often carry around this notebook and I carry around this really like messed up bag of uh, colored uh, pens at this point. I could just get like an actual pen case, but I haven't. But, um, and so this week, every morning, I've been just taking a couple minutes before I like hop on the computer and like try to get my work done real quick before the kids interrupt me. But I've been taking like two minutes and just writing kind of where I'm at, um, you know, what I'm grateful for, where I'm going and what I want to try to keep in mind for the day. And it's really helpful because I actually forget about it. Admittedly, I forget about it an hour later that I just wrote that down. But what happens is the next day when I see the notebook sitting on my desk and I open it up, I'm reminded of where I was at yesterday and it gives me my springboard for the day. So my challenge for you two or for you all this week is to, um, write down one thing you're grateful for, or even take five minutes to journal just a little bit about where you're at. It's your journal. It's your kind of your place to word vomit if you need to, but take five minutes to write about what you're grateful for, where you want to go. And the other challenge for you all, and we were just talking about this, is to keep your portions in line for the week. So no matter what you're doing, give yourself permission to fail at your nutrition, give yourself permission to have the cookie. But other than that, keep your, your portions in line. And if you are a stress eater, set your week up today after this workout, set your week up to have a replacement food, right? So if you always stress eat at whatever time of day and you know it, well then use, set up little snack packs for the week of, I don't know, popcorn, right? Like of the little like skinny pop popcorn or one thing that I really like, is like or I like really like salty when I'm stress eating. So set yourself up a little mini serving of your favorite chips, just a small serving and a baggie so that you can give your permit yourself permission during these like really unsettling times to stress eat a little bit, right? And then you're not completely throwing all your work out the window. So I want you to, to write down what you're grateful for this week every day. And then I also want you to set yourself up for fail, uh, for success. Don't you set yourself up for failure. That would be crazy. Um, <laughs> set yourself up for success by honoring the fact that you're probably gonna stress eat, you're probably gonna make some failures, you're not gonna be perfect, that's okay. Set yourself up by, by giving yourself permission to have that one little junky thing every day within a portion, a small serving size. All right, so the workout today is, all you need is a small little area, we don't need much space. I was sitting on the ball, but we don't need a ball or anything. So we're gonna use a band, all right, if you don't have a band, you can use a small weight. I walked away for a second, sorry. 
You can use a small weight, doesn't matter, two pounds, three pounds, okay? Can be whatever you need it to be. We're gonna go for time. And like I said, we're gonna do a total body workout today. So the idea of today is to make sure that we're just getting our heart rate going. You can add um, how intense you are in this workout is how much you're gonna sweat. So if you really want to really burn some calories, you're gonna, if you're really going like balls to the wall. If you just want to get the blood, the blood flowing, get your heart rate up, then you'll be, um, you'll be able to accomplish that too. So we'll modify everything. We're gonna start at the top of our body and then we're gonna work our way down to the body, uh, to our legs, but we'll end with core actually. We'll go upper body, work our way down into our legs, and we'll go from there. So with the band, let me start my timer. And remember, you can ask questions at any point for clarification. Um, for those of you who are on the live call, and then those of you who join in later, um, you can always comment or message us on social media. So the band, we're gonna start with our upper body. So just have the band kind of available right now. Um, just kind of have it hanging on your wrist for now because we're gonna actually just start with opener. So just hold the band. So just open your chest, close the chest. We'll make sure I don't punch the punching bag inadvertently. All right, so just opening and closing. Good, and then we're gonna come up and down. And then ladies on the call, let me know, like I said, if you have questions and we'll stay in this warm up for a second. So go back to chest openers. There you go, just getting them going, good. And then just kind of twist. Get a nice twist going. Good, super shallow squat, meaning just come down a little and come back up. Nothing crazy, we're not doing crazy full blown squats or anything right now. We'll get to that fun stuff later. Good. Now you're just going to do um, toy soldiers. Doesn't matter about height. Just get them up to where they're comfy. Nice and easy, nice and slow. This is our dynamic warm up. So that means we're not actually warm yet, but we're going to work the muscles while we move them. There you go. A couple more each side. Good, and then last one, opposite hand to opposite foot, your toe pointing to the sky. Toe points to the sky so that we really get a nice calf stretch. So opposite hand to the outside of the opposite foot, toes to the sky, so we're really working that nice calf stretch. This feels really good for me right now. Oh, good. All right, shake it all out, get your band ready. I feel obligated to say, just check your band, make sure there's no crack, oh, like pulls, tears, anything in it. You don't need to snap yourself in the face or if there's a child nearby, you don't need to snap a child in the face. Maybe you want to, I don't know, it's up to you. I'll look away, there's no way of knowing. All right, so we are first, we're gonna hold the band um, just about shoulder height, shoulder width apart, not shoulder height. And you're gonna have a slight bend in your elbow, so don't, don't lock out your, uh, your elbows, all right? Slight bend, and we're gonna raise up to the sky, shoulder width apart, and down, back down to your thighs. Good. The idea is you wanna keep tension in the band the whole time. So when you're in that motion from thigh to above your head, don't let the band bring your arms in at all. Good. Good, and that should feel nice and uh, opening in your shoulders. You should feel a little bit burny. You can hear all the little footsteps up above. Good, so now you're gonna hold above. I'm hitting the ceiling, all right? And you're just gonna pull behind your chest. I mean, behind your, behind your head. I do know anatomy, I promise. Good, girls, there you go. And you don't have to come all the way down if that doesn't feel good. You can stop right here. Good. And when we're doing this, 
any of these exercises and keep going here. Girls, keep going while I'm stopping for a second. I don't want you leaning back. Make sure that we're tucked so our back is nice and flat, our belly's engaged, and our chest is just a slightest bit forward. All right, I don't, I don't want you to lean back and put pressure on your back. That's not what we want. Good, all right, come back. Come bend over just a little bit. I'm gonna bend over like this so you can see. All right, right here. You're gonna go a little bit wider now and pull back. There you go. You know my arms come back into that 90 degree angle? I want you to think there is a tennis ball right here, right between your shoulder blades, and you're trying to squeeze the tennis ball. I heard someone say the other day, a pencil, try to squeeze a pencil. And I was like, what? Who has that kind of muscle and range of motion? Life goal. Good. Your shoulders starting to burn a little bit. Back starting to burn a little bit. This is more your back right now. But yeah. Beautiful. All right, we're going to go through it all again. Up, back to the front, up and down. Again, really make sure that you're not leaning back. Nice job. Here we go, ladies. Whew, my shoulders are burning. Good, yeah, and when you come up, you can't see my arms. When you come up, make sure, yeah, that you stay shoulder width right there. See how I have that slight bend in my elbow? Good. Good, gonna come over our head again. Pull those elbows straight down. I am a little burning. Feel like maybe I, I shouldn't have worked out on the shoulders all week. Good, lean forward. Right, and we're doing our rows. So this is our back. We're just working the shoulders, we're getting those back muscles right now. Keep that tension in the band. And like I said, remember, try to pull the, um, try to really pull your elbows together up top, right? You're holding for that one second up there and you're trying to squeeze that tennis ball. Good, shake it out for a second. Good. I realized I didn't set my watch. Make sure you set your watch. All right, we're gonna go through that one more time. I am always surprised at how much the bands can make you sweat. All right, ready, one more time. Keep that good lifting form the whole time. So tail tucked. Slight bend in the knees, make sure we're not leaning back with the band. Good, all the way down to our thighs, all the way up above our head, all the way down to our thighs, good. So my left shoulder has an old injury. A couple of years ago, playing softball, when apparently I, I don't know, maybe I had no business sliding into second base and I messed up my left shoulder. So my shoulder's been a little cranky all week, so I've been taking extra care to, to um, like stretch it and stuff, but it still is just kind of been bothering me. So anyone whose shoulders feel a little cranky right now, remember just to slow it down a little bit. We're gonna go up above and behind our head again. But just remember, slow it down when you need to. This constant movement, these sets in a row, are meant to be burning your shoulders out, burning your your back out. We're going to go to biceps and triceps in a second. So just remember to take that extra care when you need to. Good. Good. And last time, come on down. Right. Make sure we're not doing this. All right. Chest up. Nice flat back. Pull those elbows straight back. Really thinking about Squeezing those shoulder blades together. You take that like one second pause up at the top. Good, keep going. Really think about squeezing at the top. 
And this should also be if you had a hard week of workouts or just even sitting in your office chair because everybody's working from home right now, this should actually feel really like almost restorative. I know it's kind of burning right now, but it should also feel restorative. Good. All right. Shake out those shoulders. You know, give a little back. My band got really, really twisted. It's really annoying. Look how, look how twisted that is. Like, I don't even know what I was doing. I need a life coach. All right. So now we're going to go into biceps and triceps. I'm going to get a new band. I don't know what this is. All right, so again, I'm checking my band to make sure there's no things in it. If you have children and all the children are messing with your bands, I highly recommend checking them regularly. People definitely can lose an eyeball. All right, so we are going to do triceps and biceps now. So we're going to start on the right side. So just remember you're opposite the knee right now. So right side. So your left hand is going to come through the band, and you're going to hold your left hand right in the middle of your chest. Perfect. And then you're going to take your right hand and put it through the band. So your palm is facing the ground. See, and I, I always have my thumb out just to, like, so the band doesn't slip. All right, and now we're just gonna push yeah, our, our palm down and back. Don't let that left hand move. And you should feel this all through that tricep, right? And that tricep is right up here. All right, there you go. Good. Same thing, I'm kneeling so that you all can see me better, but even kneeling, my knees are just about hip width apart. Whatever's comfortable, a little bit wider, a little bit more narrow, but a slight bend in those knees if you're standing and making sure there's absolutely no arch in your back. Good. Your triceps burning, girls? I got a very, very, like, uh-huh, yeah. If it helps, since my band decided to like shrivel and die on me, uh, this is a lot harder band and I regret my decision to go to this band. Which brings me to my next point. If this is too hard for you, get a lighter band. If you don't have a lighter band, go to light weights, which I'll show you in a second. Good, rest. So we're gonna switch into our left tricep now. So your right hand is on your chest, left hand's facing down, all right, make sure your thumb is outside the band for, and just so the band doesn't slip and snap you in the eye. And we're going right into the same motion. Now our left palm is pushing down and away. When you get back here, I want you to take that second. Uh, squeeze and up. Squeeze and up. Squeeze. Good. So make sure you're not letting the band snap you back up. Control the movement the whole way through. Nice, constant, and consistent movement. Good. Whoa, burning is good for you. Trying to look at the time. Good. So we're doing each movement for 30 seconds. Everything through here. The shoulders we started with were all, all 30 seconds, three times through. And now we're doing the same thing for our triceps and we'll do the same things for our biceps. So switch to the other side now. After this, we're gonna go to legs. And then from there we'll do abs and then we're done. And it's a quick, all in all, we'll be out of here in about 30 minutes. Perfect way to get your Saturdays going. It is Saturday, right? I feel like I, thank you, thank you. Whether it be Saturday, Monday, who knows? Still a good workout. Good, make sure we're still really pushing that tricep back. All right, that quick little pause. No arch in our back. Good. I regret my decision still with this yellow band. It's very tiring. So, and another thing about bands, switch sides. So with bands, my yellow band is not equal to your yellow band. So just keep that in mind. If you're like, oh, she's using the yellow band the whole time, I should use it. Still check. I suggest if you haven't done these before and you're not lifting regularly, you should start with light, even ultra light. So it actually says it on the band. 
if you've been lifting, you've been doing a lifting program of some sorts consistently, you know, three times a week at least, then you can start with medium. But doing this constant, very isolating, repetitive movement, you're going to get tired. So you want to make sure you can do the movement the whole time through. It's not doing you any service if you can't keep consistent motion. Good, a couple more seconds. And then we got one more set of triceps. Switch sides. Good job. Make sure we're breathing. Keep those bellies engaged. Make sure you breathe. Nice job, nice job. And as you get extra burny, really try to push through it. The more that you can push through the hard stuff, more that you'll believe that you can show up tomorrow and work out again, okay? Doesn't mean you need to kill it. You're not like flying through, right? Good job. There you go. Good. Palm down and away. Couple more seconds. Switch sides. Like that transition? Woo! There you go, good. 30 more seconds of triceps. Then we got biceps. And then when we do our legs, your heart rate should be up right now. My, mine's always at fat burn for this type of stuff. It might be at cardio for you if you have a watch on. You could otherwise just feel that your heart rate is up. It's okay too, getting a little sweaty. But when we move to our legs, your heart rate is gonna go up. So after this, you're gonna to wanna to take a little sip of water. No chugging. We're almost done with this tricep. Keep it in, keep in there. Good, all right, take that sip of water. Shake out the tricep. We're gonna go right into biceps. Quick sip, quick sip. Good, you can do a little dance like I'm dancing. Try to hang with the cool kids. All right. Good. And by the way, during this time when we're sitting at our desk all the time during the work week, make sure you're still drinking water. It's easy to get involved in what you're doing and forget to drink water. You want to drink water all the time. It keeps your digestive system healthy. It helps you feel full or when you might think you're hungry and you're not actually hungry. And it's very good for to keep all, all the germs and everything working through your body, all the toxins. So make sure we're drinking water. You know who you are. All right. Um, so now we're going to take our left hand, actually got to stand for this one. Our left hand is going to be at our right thigh, wherever it's kind of comfortable hanging down there. And then you're going to take your right hand, you're going to open and then take your right hand to your left shoulder. Yeah. And again, wherever the band, your hand is at comfortable at the bottom is fine. What is important here? is if you can't reach the left shoulder and you have to reach the left shoulder and your elbow comes away, you're going too far. Don't worry about the shoulder. So if your elbow is moving away, I actually hit right below my shoulder, okay? So don't worry so much about hitting the shoulder, but you just wanna make sure you're reaching across your body. You're opening up your arm at the bottom and then your elbow, stays pinned in the whole time. So see how my elbow doesn't come away at all? That's what is important. And when you get to the top, think about really squeezing that bicep. All right, squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. Good. There we go, keep working, keep working. We feel the burning on this one too? Triceps are way worse for me. Tri triceps are my weakness. But this stuff, so those of you who lift a lot, doing band work is very, very important for you. I recommend working band work in once a week, at least. Adding it to your, your warm up or to your cool down, just to kind of get the auxiliary parts of those muscles. Good, switch side. So right hand down to that right thigh. And then left hand comes to that right shoulder. Again, making sure to open at the bottom so my palm actually opens up at the bottom and then I come to that 
right shoulder. And I just lifted my elbow away because I was too worried about getting my shoulder. Don't worry so much about where on your opposite shoulder you're hitting. Worry about keeping your tricep in. I was recently reminded of how important band work is when I was thinking about programs for athletes, young athletes in particular. And it reminded me that the same reason we have young athletes do these kind of motions and things like plyometric jumping motions like we're going to do in a minute is the same reason that as adults we want to do it. You know, for athletes, it increases their efficiency. It makes them stronger, faster, and decreases their risk of injury. But for adults, it makes us better able to do our everyday functional movements. Good, switch hands, left hand to your thigh, right hand comes to the opposite, whoops, I don't know opposites apparently, right hand comes to the opposite shoulder. Keep that elbow pinned in, palm opens at the bottom. But so as adults, doing these kind of motions helps us be able to do things like carry in the groceries, you know, dodge the Legos that you're about to step on barefooted, whatever it is, and it helps us do all those things and live our life with a decreased risk of getting injured, just like those athletes. And if we're not injured and we're feeling stronger in our everyday living, our quality of life gets better. So even though this is burning, just think about all the good you're doing for your body. Good job. A little bit more. We're gonna switch arms. And then after that, we got one more set left, the biceps. And then we're done with the band. Good. And at the end, I'll show real quick what we could have done with the weights or what you can do with the weights instead of the bands. Good, switch sides. We should be nice and burning at this point. Remember, it's not about getting the opposite, like right up to that shoulder blade or shoulder, the cap of your shoulder. It is about keeping that elbow pinned in and squeezing the bicep that's right here Squeezing right here at the top. Good. There you go, keep going. Make sure our lifting form is still good. Slight bend in our knees. Our chest is just a little forward, right? We shouldn't be leaning back, especially as we get tired. Think about keeping that belly engaged. Good. Couple more. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep that elbow pinned in. It's more Reminder for me point is I'm getting tired. Good, switch sides. One more. One more on each side. Yeah, shake it out real quick if you need to. If you can, get right into it. At any point, remember, what you put in is what you're going to get out. Some days you're going to be able to put in that 150%. And some days you're going to just get through it. And that's okay. Wherever you're at today, just honor it. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. You could have just laid on the couch, but you're here. Good. There we go, keep it up. Through the burn, feel the burn. I always think of cool runnings. Feel the rhythm, feel the rhyme. I don't know the rest of it. Here we go, keep going, keep going a little bit more. Make sure that palm is opening up at the bottom, our elbows pinned in, and switch. Last movement with the band. Remember, elbow pinned in. Keep it pinned in, especially as you're tired. Don't let the band control you. You control the band. When you think you can't because you're burning, say, I can. No one has to hear it or you can yell it as loud as you want. Ever get you through. Good job, good job. Little more. Keep that elbow pinned in. Squeeze at that top, squeeze at that top. Squeeze, you should take that one second at the top. Squeeze, good. Little more and good. Shake it out. Get rid of that band. All right, so real quick, those two movements, if you didn't have the band, and I, I should have said this ahead of time, but you could have just done full, everyone get a sip of water right now while I'm demonstrating the weights. 
You could have just done the full bicep curls up and down. All right, for the, for the biceps. And then for that first movement, you would have just done kickbacks. Stopping right at the hips, pushing back. Stopping right at the hips, pushing back. All right, so doing legs now. So now this is where I said our heart rates are gonna go up. So get that sip of water if you need it. Don't chug the water. All right, so first we're just gonna get into some full body squats now. Ugh, your hand feels weird from the band, it'll go away. Like when you get off a treadmill or get off a trampoline, either one. So full body squats, proper squat. Remember, our hips come back, we're in our heels, all right? In our heels, our toes aren't like up like that, but we should be able to wiggle our toes, all right? And we come down to that 90 degree angle, chest up and back up. So go ahead, we're gonna do full body squats right now. Really make sure that the outside of your left knee, outside of your right knee, make sure they stay in line with the outside of your foot. So from the front, you want to make sure right here stays in line with the outside of your foot. When you're standing up, I want you to think about right here in your hips, driving through and squeezing your butt. This ensures that your knees don't fall in. You don't want your knees to fall in to stand up. You want to really think about pushing out with your knees. If you're having a hard time doing that, Putting the band we just had right around your knees will help as a reminder to keep those knees out. Good, shake it out. Nice and warm now in the leggies. Leggies is a technical term. All right, so we are gonna do side lunges. So side lunge here and then here. Just our body weight, all right, making sure that the right knee is still behind the toe when you're lunging to the right, and the left knee is still behind the left toe when you're lunging to the left. Chest up, just going back and forth. Go ahead, so you can begin. Good. Good job, chest up, chest up. Keep that belly in tight. Try to get that, that knee that's lunging into uh, almost a 90 degree angle. Keep the butt back, chest up, butt back, chest up. Good job, keep going. Good. There you go. And good, rest. So now we're gonna go back to our squats, but we're gonna make them a little harder. So we're gonna squat, come up onto our toes. Squat up onto our toes. Squat, up onto our toes. Ready, go. Breathe in on the down, out on the up. If this becomes too difficult, you can go back to our regular body squats. You don't have to come up on your toes. Good job. Keep that breath in on the down, on the out, uh, out on the up. Good, rest. Good, so now we're gonna go back to our lunges. And again, we're gonna make these a little bit harder. So we're gonna lunge and then bring our knee up. Lunge, bring our knee up. So we're gonna just start to one side right now. If that is too hard, you can do this. Lunge, come back to the middle, step, knee up. Lunge, middle, knee up. Lunge, middle, knee up. Otherwise, lunge, right into the knee up. Wherever you're at, honor it, not a big deal. You showed up. Good job. So much easier to keep track of time without the band on my watch. Good job. Use the breath. So in on the down, out on the up. Good. You should feel that work all through the inside of that leg, in that butt. 
Good, other side. Good job, keep that breath. When that left foot comes down to the lunge, make sure that toe is forward, that knee is behind the toe, and that we are pushing through that foot to come up. Good, a little bit more. Good, shake it out. All right, so now, the last progression for our squats. I'm gonna totally hit something. Come into your squat, jump. If jumping is too hard, you have a foot injury, a knee injury, you are ex extra tired today, or it hurts, or it's just too hard, you're sticking here, up under the toes. It still work, all right? It all counts. If you start off jumping, and you get too tired, take a 10 second rest. Do 10 seconds of the modified, and then try to finish your last 10 seconds jumping, wherever you're at. All right, ready? Go. When you land, toe ball uh, heel, all right, butt back. Try to land like a ninja. Ninjas. It's like the only time we get to be ninjas. Might as well enjoy it. Good. Make sure those legs come straight in the air. Land like a ninja. Three, two, one. Good job. Okay, now, I'm sure you know where we're going with this. Squat, jump. Squat, jump. If that single leg jump is too hard, here, here, here still, or you can just take out the jump. If you're just worried about the balance, you can do the step and then jump. Completely up to you. Good job, keep working. Good, halfway there. Nice. Good, switch sides. My brain just got messed up. My first rep, whenever I'm doing opposite jumping stuff like this, it takes my brain a minute. Be forgiving of yourself. Here you go, chest up. Almost there. Five, four, Three, two, one. Good job. Woo, get a sip of water. All right, meet me on the ground. Good. So if your heart rate is still really, really high, you can take a second, breathe. You don't want to come lay down on the ground with your heart going nuts still. Give yourself a second. Why I demonstrate, you just listen for a second, okay? Breathing into your nose, out through your mouth. So, number one is going to be just heel taps. So you don't want your heels way down here. You want to be fairly close to your butt. And you wanna make sure that your low back is pushing in the ground. The exercises we do here, I really want you to make sure your low back is pressed into the ground. My shoulders come up, my low back is pressing into the ground, and my right pinky touches my right heel, and my left pinky touches my left heel. Right, left, right, left. If that's too challenging, just don't go as far. Go just past your butt with your pinky finger. If you can't reach your heel, do not stress it. All right, ready, go. I saw some of you were already working, I love it. I love the extra work. You're my heroes. Good job, good job. Remember to your breath. Keep your chin tucked. 
and push your low back into the ground. That will help with taking pressure off your neck, off your back. And remember, if it's too hard to reach your heels, don't go that far. It is not a big deal. If you get too tired, do not drop. Just hold your shoulders up. Just hold the crunch. All right? Good rest. All right, so now we are going to do, oh, sorry. We're going to do prayer crunches. Look at a little sticky on the floor there. I suggest a mat if you don't like to be too sticky. All right, so prayer crunches, literally, like you're praying, right? The prayer hands. You're going to start and stop here so my shoulders are off the ground. And you're going to push your hands through your legs. So you don't want your hands coming up here because we're not doing a full setup. We're just doing a crunch, pushing our prayer hands through the middle of our legs. Good job. Keep going. Nice. There you go. Keep it up. Keep it up. Good job. Find that breath. Tuck that chin. Keep those shoulders up. And rest. Good job. Good. Take a 10 second rest. So remember, on the heel taps, everyone's resting right now, on the heel taps, if you get so tired you can't keep twisting, just hold the crunch. Looking ahead, chin tuck. Same thing with the prayer crunch. It's okay to get tired. Don't stop. If you can, just hold the crunch. All right? We got two more sets. Ready, go. Heel tuck. Heel touches. Good. Keep that chin tucked. Push that low back to the ground. Good job. Okay. Good job, good job. I'm just talking to myself over here. Thought I forgot the timer. There you go. Less than 10. Three, two, one. Good. Stretch out those abs, right? You can push your back up for just a second. And now engage your back, engage your abs again by pushing your little back into the mat. And prayer crunches, go. Keep that chin tucked. Push your low back into the ground. Good. Keep going. Five seconds. Good. Rest. All right. One more set. You all look like rock stars. Nice and done. My abs are burning. I don't know about yours. I'm dying. Remember to keep our low backs engaged. We're going to start in just about 10. Good. And heel touches. Last time. Go. Keep that chin tucked. Reach for those heels. Good. Shoulders up. Good job. Good job. More than halfway there. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Last movement. And we're going to stretch it out right into our prayer crunches. Ready, go. 30 seconds. Perfect effort. Let's go. Good job. Less than 10. Three, two, one. Good job. 
So you can stay on the ground for a second. Nicely done. You can push your um, low back off the ground. Put your arms over your head. Just kind of oh, stretch out those abs for a second. They still want to work for you. Tell them good job. So when you're ready, you're going to sit up. We're going to stretch for just about five minutes. All right, so you're going to bring your left arm across your body. All right, just stretch out that arm. Good, so remember your challenges this week, all right, girls, men, gentlemen, ladies, whoever's watching. So we want to make sure that we're taking five minutes each day, each day to write down what we're grateful for. Switch arms. Want to make sure we're really thinking about what we're grateful for, where we're going to go from there. I was reminded of a quote this morning that I love. Good, take your left arm up and back. Get that tricep. So one of my favorite quotes is, life's not about waiting for the storm to pass. Switch arms. It's about learning to dance in the rain. So I want you to think about that as you proceed with this next week. Think about what you're grateful for. Take five minutes to write it down every day. Don't underestimate the power of that. Good, take your left leg in front of you, right leg bent, and reach to wherever you can. If you can only get to just past your knee, if you can only get to your ankle, if you can get your toe groovy, wherever you can reach, reach. All right, but don't underestimate the power of writing down and taking five minutes to be thoughtful about your gratitude. Remember, we are adaptable. We accept change and we're creative about how we proceed. Switch legs. And remember to set yourself up for success with your food and your portions this week. Stick to your portions. Know that if you are a stress eater or you're someone who just needs a little something, don't, don't beat yourself up about it. Set up a little portion. Replace that binge eating or that stress eating with something that's slightly more healthy and then enjoy the heck out of it. Okay? Good. Come into that nice butterfly stretch. Just let your knees fall wherever they're going to fall. So you can tell that I, I should probably work on my stretching more. All right. Good. Hands over your head. Take a good deep breath in. Good. Be proud of yourselves. You worked hard today. Nicely done.